Hi, I'm Mike from Swissco.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install a key lock set on an existing patio door handle. Today we'll be working with the 82309 key lock set and the 82035 patio door handle set. The tools you'll need for this exercise are a Phillips head screwdriver, hammer, punch tool, hacksaw, and two sets of pliers. First, remove your original patio door handle set from the door. For future reference, it may be helpful to mark the hole the latch lever sits in, connecting it to the mortise lock. In most cases, these types of patio door handle sets use the lower hole in order to activate the lock. Remove the outside portion of your door and again, make a mark for future reference. Take the housing of your key lock set and align it with the back portion of your outside handle and then mark your punch out locations. One large hole for the key cylinder and two smaller holes for the screws. In order to make this process a bit easier, we recommend clamping your outside handle to a table at a comfortable height. Once you've done that, grab your punch tool and hammer and forcefully, but carefully, punch out your holes. We are using a slightly larger punch tool for the key cylinder hole. While the smaller holes may punch out after two or three hits, you may need to flip the handle over in order to complete the punch out of the larger hole. Then you can use a file to clean up any debris on your handle. Before you insert the key cylinder to its housing, check and make sure your holes line up. Take your key cylinder with a slot on the bottom and insert it into the housing. Place the cylinder and housing onto the handle and then fasten it with your screws. You can take your keys and give it a test before attaching it to your door. Take your handle and place it back on your door. Sometimes it helps to insert the key in order to move the spindle to the correct position back into the mortise lock. Test the cylinder to make sure it's moving the lock. If you discover the latch isn't fitting flush to your door, this means you'll have to cut down the spindle. In our case, we had to cut the spindle down two notches shorter. You can use a hacksaw to strike the spindle and then use a set of pliers to break it clean. Again, use a file to remove any debris if necessary. Place your handle back on the door with the spindle engaged in the mortise lock. Do the same with your inside handle and latch, ensuring it fits flush. Finish the project by fastening your inside handle to the door, reaching and securing the outside handle. Test your door by closing it and locking it, ensuring it engages with the keeper.
Remember, if you have any questions on how to install this particular key lock set or on any other hardware, we have experts ready to answer your questions online at swissco.com forward slash help. Thanks for watching.